Garrett Nussmeyer out of Texas has been an LSU target for a while. It was LSU. LSU was his first offer. Anybody you talk to over there on campus is as high on Nussmeyer's error as is anybody in the 2021 class. Uh, he's a four-star out of Texas, uh, Marcus High School over there. His dad is Doug Nussmeyer, who's the quarterback's coach for the Dallas Cowboys um, and has great experience. Scott Lenahan has a great relationship with him. Um, and, and this is obviously a weird time right now for recruiting and everything uh, that's going into it. So Garrett's been kind enough to jump on with us here and talk a little recruiting, talk about how it is right now for a prep quarterback uh, going through this recruiting process in such a weird time. Uh, so we appreciate it, man. Thanks for stopping by here, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Alexandria. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Absolutely. Um, I, I know the LSU offer meant a lot to you, not just because it was yes, first. Um, take me back to when you got the offer and and where where they kind of sit with you right now. Um, yeah, you know, it, it was uh, truly a blessing, you know, especially being my first offer, um, you know, and, and I kind of took it as a uh, – you know, I knew that it wasn't a, hey, we think you're, uh, you know, a, a D1 player right now. You know, I was a freshman, you know, and I knew it was a, hey, we think you can be something special. So, you know, I took that as motivation to follow along a timeline and continue to grow and get to the point where I think I'm at today. Um, so, you know, I, I think it was extreme motivation, you know, especially being such a high-profile school and such a high-profile conference. Um, I think that was the biggest part for me was the motivation. Well, what was it like? So, okay, so you're you're going into your senior year. So you would have been offered a couple of. So you were offered pre LSU offensive renaissance. So what was it like watching that Tiger offense this last season for you? Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. You know, um, so I was offered by fr- summer going into sophomore year. So um, I believe that was the year before they really took off yeah. it was Joe's first year and you could kind of see the potential, um, you know, and then, uh, coach Brady got there and, you know, um, from there, you know, I remember sitting in the film room, just watching the things, you know, that, um, he was about to bring to them and I was really wild away. And I was like, you know, this has got a real chance, and, you know, obviously it went on to be one of the best teams ever. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, and, and credit goes to coach Ensminger too, you know, a lot of stuff was him too. And, um, uh, both of them, you know, kind of together. I think I said before it was like a, a two headed uh, two headed snake. You know, it'll bite you on both sides. You know, oh. I think it was a it was a really good combination. So. Love this, dude. You should do radio. I love that two headed snake line. I'm gonna have to steal that. <laughs> Garrett Nussmeyer, who ranks as the uh, top ten pro style quarterback in the class. I think that's a little unfair to to label you as a pro style quarterback. Watching some of your highlights and having the ability to see you. I mean, you, you can move right. Yeah, I mean, speed. Uh, he, Thank you. I think you're a little bit more better of an athlete than a pro stock. Would you agree with that? I'm, I'm not asking you to give me your scouting report, but don't you think like you're a little bit more athletic than a pro style guy? Um, I mean, I think I can move a little bit. You know, I think uh, I think uh, I would say it's pro style because you know I think most of my movement is within the pocket. Yeah. You know, and then I can extend plays, and I think that's the strongest part of my game is my pocket presence. Uh, you know, I can get out and I can move it and, and stay on the throwing platform. So. Uh, Garrett, so you mentioned Joe Brady. He now has gone with Matt Rule to the Carolina Panthers. Mm-hmm. You're pretty familiar with the guy that came in. Uh, how how yes, long has your family known Scott Linehan? Well, you know, my dad actually played for Coach Linehan at the University of Idaho. Um, wow. And then uh, Coach was him at the St. Louis Rams and then recently at the Dallas Cowboys. So, you know, we've had a pretty good relationship. You know, he's a close family friend. So, um, you know, it's been a pretty cool deal. Is he uh, is he hitting you up like, hey, gee, what are we doing here? You got to come play for me at LSU. Like, is it I'm back at college? This will be really good for me if you if you come in. And- <laughs> have, you, have, you all, have you all been talking? Yeah, I mean, we had some pretty good talks, but you know, it, it gets funny. So, um, so he, he can get around those recruiting things too. He's like, we're family friends. Yeah, man, yeah just gotta leave. Let me, let me, let me no, call Garrett forever. real quick. See what he thinks about it. <laughs> um, so this is a weird time for everybody. What's it like for a high school student? Um, you know, it's really weird, you know, I, especially, um, you know, we've gone to online school and our plan was to get back April 6th. You know, I don't know if that'll happen, but that was our school's plan. So you're not going to the beach. Are you Garrett with all these other (laughs) young hard bodies that I see out there partying? No, I'm not. I'll not be at any public beaches (laughs) hanging out. No, that's for sure. Um, so you had a date that you were going to announce. How has all this kind of affected that? Um, you know, it, it kind of threw everything off. You know, the plan was to uh, visit Texas and Miami um, before this thing hit. And then, um, 
you know, I think the plan as of right now is to kind of, you know, I think the first date they said might have been April 15th where they were going to try and lift the, uh, you know, but I, I, I don't know what's going to yeah. happen. Hopefully, um, you know, everybody take care of business the next two weeks and things kind of settle down. But, you know, obviously, you know, if that doesn't happen, you know, I'll go from there. So senior year coming up, uh, what are your goals for you personally? I mean, I'm sure, you know, your team goals are obvious, right? You want to lead the team, you want to win state, et cetera. Uh, but for you personally, what what are you trying to improve on going into this final season? Um, um, things I'm trying to improve on, you know, since my freshman year has been size. You know, I, I've got uh, I've improved a lot. You know, I was at five ten, about one sixty, something like that. I want to say my sophomore year, and now I'm at you know last weekend or whenever I was at LSU, I was six two, uh, one eighty five. Nice. So nice. You know, I'm just continuing. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a struggle, but you know it's been fun. You know, getting in the weight room and falling in love with it, and, and trying to uh, work on my speed, my size. You know, um, one thing I want to work on next year is uh, working on starting to you know move the ball past the line of scrimmage with my legs. Uh, you know, being able to you know uh, be a threat um, more with my legs is something that I'd like to work on. Um, so you you mentioned and, the uh, weight you mentioned the weight room, Garrett. What about uh, have uh, you been in touch with Tommy Moffat yet? You know, we've talked a few times while I was on campus, you know. Um, you know, I think he, he could uh, definitely uh, <laughs> put a lot of weight on me. You know, I think I saw what, what he did to Miles Brennan. You know, Miles, uh, if I read correctly, wasn't – he was around 180, something like that when he came in. Yeah. Totally uh, changed him. Um, so, you know, I, I see a lot of faith there. You know, like I, I trust him a lot. You know, you know if I went there, I'd, I'd be really uh, really okay with, you know, his, his system. And, uh, you know, he does a great job. Ogeron always tells us in recruiting to find the champion, the person that means the most in that man in, in in that in that player's life. Am I reading correctly that your mom's family is from Lake Charles? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was. Oh, there. so you got any pressure to come to LSU? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. I bet. <laughs> you know, they want the, the, the locals over there. They like the purple and gold, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So you mentioned Lenahan is 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 helping recruit. Who's who's leading your recruiting right now with with with, with LSU? Um, you know, I I wouldn't really say you know one person. You know, I talked to Coach uh, Russ Calloway and uh, Coach Lenahan a good bit. But you know, you know the crazy thing you know that I love about LSU is Coach O is so hands on. You know, we text almost every day. So, you no, know, I, I think that's pretty cool. So, do you have an ideal date that you would like to make your announcement if everything shakes out um, and, and kind of gets back to normal? Um, you know, I would like, hopefully, you know, in a perfect world that uh, this comes back soon and I can uh, get on visits as soon as possible, you know, and I, would, I couldn't even tell you a date because I wouldn't know. And hopefully the plan is, like I said, you know, this thing shuts down and I can go on a few more visits and figure things out and then yeah. uh, make my decision. Well, I know that you're, uh, you're very high on LSU's board. We appreciate your time this morning. Best of luck in preparation for this decision and on your senior season. Let's do this again. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor. You got it. All right, Garrett, take it easy, man. Garrett Nussmeyer, checking in. That's Great kid. Yeah, man. It was an honor. Anytime you put an 18-year-old on the live radio, it's a hell of a gamble. That kid knocked it out of the park. Sounds so. very <laughs> quarterback-like. I mean, we didn't even like, ask him. His dad's a quarterback's coach for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, well, I guess that's a missed yeah. opportunity. Yeah, can we, we get him back on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, what about Dak Prescott? <laughs> we got to do that. Damn it! <laughs>